Mom? I feel terrible. <coughs> You'll have to look after yourselves until Dad comes home. Oh, I'm feeling much better now. Can I play on the computer? <coughs> <coughs> oh, all right. But first, can you bring me a glass of orange juice? Oh! If you're not up to it, perhaps you should go back to bed. Uh, and brings pieces of ice cream for his throat, please. Oh. Ouch! One for Peter. Two for me. One for... Three for me. I don't want poor Peter to be sick again. This is Miss Oddbod. Is that Henry? The uh, no. Th th this is Peter, Henry's snotty-nosed little brother. Oh, right. Well, is your mother there? I need to speak to her about Henry missing his spelling test. No, she's not. The uh, I mean, no, she's out. And uh, by the way, Henry won't be coming back to school ever again. No, really? Why? He's got such a high temperature uh, that his brains have melted all over the floor. Sorry, I've got, got to go and clean them up. Bye! Oh! Henry, where's my drink? And where's my ice cream? Oh. When I'm king, only one person at a time will be allowed to be sick. And that will be me! Henry? Is that the post? Would you bring it up? Oh, it's just no fun being good. Ah! Henry? Answer the door, please. Hello, Sonny. Mum or Dad at home? Mum is... But she's sick. Left me to clean up. Ugh. I'll call her if you want. Mum! Hello, no, 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 don't bother her. Uh, just pass on a message. We're making some repairs and we've got to turn the water off for a couple of hours. Stop it, Fluffy. That's Peter's. Ugh. Ugh. We'll let you know when we've finished. Henry! Oh, coming! That's only for sick people! Oh, thank you. Who was at the door? A man. They're turning the water off. Oh, no. Not today. Oh, I'd forgotten all about it. Henry, listen. You need to fill the bath, then fill saucepans, um, water jugs and uh, everything else you can find, and hurry! And take Peter his ice cream. On. Make sure your taps are all turned off. Oh, great! Someone else telling me what to do. What? Anything else you want? Hot water bottle? Nice fluffy blanket? Um, no thanks. Uh, have a nice day. Have a nice day? Oh, yeah! I'll put it on the list. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. Oh, just an idea, 
sure I had. Look, Henry, I know you're nervous about going to see the doctor. I'm not nervous. Yes, you are. Otherwise, why would you be trying to get me to pretend to be you? Look, Mum, I got a brave badge for seeing the doctor today. Oh, well done, Plumpkin. You are a brave bunny. And she offered me a sweet, but I didn't take it. Because I knew it would ruin my tea. Oh, Peter, you're such a good boy. My chocolate bunny. Oh, no, thank you, Mum. I've already brushed my teeth. Oh, have some more chocolate, Mum. Oh, there you are, Henry. You feel as if you've got a temperature. Yes. Uh, well, no. I mean, I might need to see the doctor tomorrow, but some hot chocolate would really help me feel better now. Hmm. All right, then. Into bed with you boys and I'll come and tuck you in. Henry, you've made my jumper all germy. Germy? Yes. Germy with germs. You haven't read G's for germ, have you, Henry? Because if you had, you would know that germs are microscopic bacteria, viruses, fungi and protozoa that can cause disease. I know what germs are and... Don't say it, Henry. All right, then. I won't. Germy germ! Watch it! You're gargling your germs all over me! Don't be silly, Henry. Hey, worm! Just washing my hands, Henry, to get rid of the germs. <laughs> Not sure washing your hands will get rid of all the germs in here. Why don't you try it, Henry? I've heard it's as big as a javelin. Oh, <gasps> what is... The needle, of course. It's as long as my arm. Whoa. Says who? What did you say? I said the bigger the better. Double. Whoa. Yeah, because you're so brave, Henry. Yes, I am. Brave enough to go and find out if I have to have an injection. Ha! <laughs> brave enough to go and get a sweet, more like. I really don't think I want an injection. No, I really don't think I want one. No need to worry, Andrew. No one got an injection yesterday. And everyone got a sweet. <laughs> That's a good thing, William. I know. Some people got more than one sweet. A total of 30 chocolate moon fizzlers and 55 orange thirsts were handed out. That's a lot of sweets. That's cool. Just got to get there before everyone else. Good morning, class. Good, Good morning, morning, Miss Battleworks. As you know, today it is our class's turn to visit the doctor. Now, I don't want any of you to worry. <coughs> Brian, I believe you have some statistics on this. Oh, yes, Miss Battleaxe. Statistically, only 0.1% of the class will have to have an injection. Thank you, Brian. So, who's going to be the first to volunteer? I see. Well, then, off you go. <laughs> Everyone except Henry, that is. I understand you were late this morning, Henry. Um, yes, Miss Battleaxe. Because? I had to change my shirt, Miss Battleaxe. I see. You were late because you had to change your shirt. Yes, Miss Battleaxe. It wasn't my fault, Miss Battleaxe. Somehow, I don't believe you, Henry. Ah, Boudicca, can I have a word? Certainly, Miss Oddbud. You may go to see the doctor, Henry. It's so easy being me. I'm you, Soggy? Uh, I mean, Mr. Sid. Oh, no, Henry. Be my guest. Oh, no. What is it, sir? Your face. It's horrible. 
<laughs> yeah, gross, isn't it? Last time I saw something like that was when I was patrolling the borders of the Upper Binganese Mountains. They call it Yeti Yeti Bigfoot Disease. Uh, they do? They do indeed, and it's highly contagious. Can't have you walking round the school when there's an inspector about, can we? You're coming with me, young man. Oh, sir? Now, now, lad. It's for everyone's good. We can't have you rushing around with Yeti Yeti Bigfoot disease, can we? It's a while since I saw a case as bad as this. Now, where did I put my... I've got to do something about this. I could be stuck in here all day. I don't miss the fame for a day parade. Of course. I just have to get the spots off. Oh no! I should have used Kitty Woody glue! Ah! ah! It's getting worse! We've got to find you a cure, Henry. I'll be right back. It's not There goes another lesson. Phew! I never thought I'd miss having lessons. Or school dinners. Never thought I'd be talking to a goldfish either. Here we are, lad. Brought you some quarantine rations. What? No need to thank me, lad. It's my duty to mankind and to the school. <sighs> I'd do anything for Miss Ortbod. Really? Uh, yes, uh, well, uh, and for the school too, of course. Ta-da! Lunch is served, young man. Bread? And water? That's not lunch. Here it is if you've got Yeti Yeti Bigfoot disease. But I haven't got Yeti Yeti Bigfoot disease. Hmm. Denying that there's anything wrong with you. I wonder if that's a symptom. <sighs> right, back to my research. Don't you be going anywhere, Henry. In case you're wondering, the windows have got bars on them. I've already checked for secret doors, trap doors and any other type of hidden door. And yes, I did need a wee about an hour ago. <laughs> Miss Battleaxe is going to get a surprise next time she does an experiment. <laughs> oh. Well, better than nothing. Okay, I'll play hide and seek with you again. Coming, ready or not? No, nope, can't see you. I suppose the question is, what would Zack Zipface have done if he was in this situation, locked up by a mad teacher with only bread and water for lunch? <laughs> oh, very clever! You breaker! That's it! That's how I'm going to get out of here! Oh, oh, I see what you mean. It's quite disgusting. Disgusting indeed. And the spots on his face make him look even more disgusting. It's so easy being me. I'm Better not leave a mark. My arms are beautiful and I want them to stay that way. You better hope she doesn't hit an artery. This causes massive blood loss, gangrene and possible amputation. That means they cut your arm off. <gasps> oh, please. It's only a pinprick. Yeah, <laughs> only a pinprick. <laughs> oh, don't pick me. Please don't pick me! William, you're next. <laughs> I don't want to go! Save me! Somebody save me! <laughs> <laughs> don't be silly, William. It's only an injection. Yeah, cry, baby! <laughs> There's no way I'm going to cry. Uh-uh. Not me! I'm tough and strong. Oh, I could take anything. <laughs> Margaret. 
<laughs> Can't wait to hear you scream. This is almost worth having an injection for. Hearing Margaret scream any moment. Now? Huh. I've never seen such a big needle. You can't frighten me. It's as long as my arm. The bigger, the better. Henry. No! I don't want an injection. I want my mummy! You are, Henry. Ooh. Oh, hi there, Nurse Needle. Uh, is it my turn now? Shall I roll up my sleeve? Thank you, Henry. But the injection will be in your other arm. The other arm? <sighs> I wish the teachers wouldn't leave their lunch lying around. seem a bit warm. Well, I can't give you this injection if you're not well. You can't? No, I can't. So how do you feel? <laughs> oh, you poor thing. You need to go home and get some rest. No injection for you today. 